This is Mungo Dark Matter and welcome to Dark Matters. Today on Dark Matters we're going to discuss how to use your Xbox 360 controller with any PC game or PC program actually. Now the first prerequisite to doing this is getting your Xbox controller connected to your PC. Now I've already done a video about how to connect a wireless Xbox controller up to a PC and I will put a link to that in the description of the video below and uh, I'll also make it a video response to this video so uh, it will make it easier for you to find it. If you have a regular wired Xbox controller you'll notice that it has a standard USB connector on the end of it and you should be able to just plug that right into your PC. If you have a wireless controller, you'll need to get a uh, wireless receiver and plug that into your PC. Uh, the easiest way to do this is to make sure that the wireless receiver or the wired controller is either a Microsoft one or a licensed Microsoft one. If it's not a licensed one, you may have some problems. But I've put uh, links in the video description below to where you can get the wireless and the wired uh, drivers for the Xbox controllers. Um, I recently bought a uh, third-party licensed Xbox wired controller and I plugged it into Windows 8 and it detected it automatically so I didn't need to load drivers. But if you have uh, Windows 7 or before you may need to load the drivers. Uh, just something to be aware of. Some games or some PC games already have uh, been programmed to recognize this Xbox controllers. For example, Terra Online will recognize them automatically and you can configure your controller within that program. If you're using a game or a program that doesn't recognize Xbox controllers, you'll need a third-party application to uh, be able to map your keyboard and your mouse to your Xbox controller. Uh, so I'm going to talk about a couple of those. We're going to highlight the one called Keysticks today, uh, but there are several programs that will do it. Keysticks, uh, which I'm going to demonstrate for you today, costs about $15.95. Uh, it seems to be well supported, has some really nice features to it, and the one thing is I was able to download a demo of it and it works with my machine. Uh, sometimes with such programs you're not really sure if it's going to work well with your hardware or not until you download it and try it. There's another program for $9.99 called XPatter which a lot of people have been using. They've been using it for a while successfully. One advantage of XPatter is it will not only do X uh, box controllers but it will do uh, controllers from other gaming consoles so if you have a controller from another gaming console that you have connected to your PC you might want to check out XPatter. XPatter seems to be well supported as well. Um, the main problem with XPatter is you've got to pay the $10 before you can download it to even try it out. There are a couple of free programs which include GlovePi and also Joy to Key, but both of these do not seem to be that well supported. Uh, in fact, uh, one of them is over three years old as far as the last update. The other one I can't even tell when the last update was. Uh, so you can try these if you want because they're free. Uh, but you may have more difficulty with them. And remember, you've got a 30-day uh, trial for key sticks, so you can try that one out first and see if you like it or not. Um, or you could just buy XPatter, or you can try the free ones. But one of the reasons I'm highlighting key sticks is you can try it out for free and see how it works and it seems to be well supported so in the description of the video below I'll have a lot of links and stuff that will help you with all this and where all these programs are and everything so just keep that in mind so with that in mind uh, let's get started this is the key sticks um, home page and it's listed in the uh, 
description of the video below and this is where you download key sticks and it loads pretty easily you just run it basically so let's take a look at this here's key sticks right here uh, here's the icon I'm gonna start that up uh, right now this uh, box pops up because I have not yet registered it it's still a 30-day trial so the key sticks uh, program pops up in the bottom right corner of the Windows screen and so let's take a closer look at that all right you can see uh, right here uh, this is looks like an Xbox controller right here and uh, it shows you how it's currently mapped out now this loaded a standard uh, profile and uh, if I go over right now I'm moving I'm moving this cursor right now with the mouse if I go over to my uh, Xbox controller and move the uh, cursor you can see that it uh, lights up when I'm controlling or using this joystick over here if I use the up down joystick you can see that as I'm moving it the uh, arrow keys will light up and if I use the other joystick it lights up the uh, appropriate button so what happens is you can um, use your controller with this this is kind of just a standard setup right here but there are other profiles you can load and they have some standard profiles and you can upload your own or create your own profiles and load them into the uh, uh, program okay let me zoom out of here and we'll take a uh, look at how to load profiles now before I, I show you how to load other profiles on the standard profile if you uh, right click the trigger on the controller it comes up with a keyboard and you can actually uh, use the joysticks to uh, control that and to type stuff in like you would on a regular Xbox uh, it's a nice little feature I don't know how useful it is uh, I really don't like typing stuff in using an Xbox controller when I'm using Xbox uh, nonetheless with a PC but it could be quicker in certain circumstances and with certain games if you just need to type in a few things so that's something to be aware of alright now let's go and uh, we'll right click on the uh, key sticks program and it brings up a menu and I can go up here and choose a profile and right now you can see we're on the standard profile I can click on Minecraft for example and click load and you'll see down here once again let's get close up to that you'll see the Xbox controller is now mapped to Minecraft keys for example there's the uh, WASD key which is common keyboard keys to use instead of the uh, up down and left right keys uh, for a lot of games Minecraft only supports the lettered keys WASD it does not support the up down left right uh, so that's why that's mapped like that it also has shift in the middle here which is jump in Minecraft uh, and it has the other important Minecraft keys also um, labeled here the nice thing about this little picture down here is it labels where the keys are so you can get used to it for any particular game and you can glance down if you forget uh, WASD the reason they use those keys is a long time ago they did not have arrow keys on a lot of keyboards and so they use WASD for people who didn't have the arrow keys on their keyboard so the reason we still use them in gaming a lot is because WASD is actually in a better position on the keyboard if you're going to use the mouse with your right hand uh, it's easier to use uh, WASD with your left hand than the arrow keys a lot of times because you would have to slide the keyboard over to um, your uh, left and then it would be harder if you needed to type something onto the keyboard so that's why we use those a lot in gaming 
All right, so this is uh, one profile right here that I, I just loaded. Now, suppose I want to create a profile. To create a profile, I right click again on the uh, Keysticks program and I go and select Create a New Profile. Now you see I have this uh, picture of my Xbox controller and all these little boxes. If I click the center box on this stick over here, for example, I can right click on it. I can go to uh, mouse and I can go down to control pointer and then I go OK. It's now mapped my pointer to that joystick on the Xbox controller. If I use these boxes around the center of this controller over here, for example, it will map uh, any direction of this joystick to a particular key or action. So if I right click up here, I could put W up there, and I could put A over here, I could put S over here. Now I'm going to put S here. And then I could put D over here. So now we have the WASD keys mapped to this. So I can map any of these keys to whatever I want. Um, the other thing I can do is I can go to settings in the different controls on the controller, the different sticks and the pad and the triggers and everything. I can, I can change their timing how they respond to things if they're responding a little too fast or a little too slow or whatever I can I can change the timing on it which is something to remember as you're mapping things out even if you're using a um, a uh, profile that was already created you can adjust those later and save your own version of it then there's a summary tab and you can put the name of the application that this um, profiles for and you can put any notes about it. If we hit apply you'll see that we've mapped those keys out on the um, controls to the Xbox. Now it's important at this point to right click again on the program and go to save this profile you want to go save as. And the reason being is if you don't do that it will save it over whatever pro profile you have loaded. So you've got to be careful of that. So we'll just name this profile test and save that. Now, uh, there are some uh, little icons up here for the program. If I click on this one, it's choose profile and we can go back and load standard again. All right, so that's how you can use your Xbox controller with any PC game or program. Uh, you can actually use the basic uh, profile for this or set up your own custom profile uh, for it and uh, use it to browse the web or do whatever you would do with a keyboard and a mouse. Uh, so you can customize it to however you want. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters, and whatever you do, enjoy gaming.